Hey, what's up? It's the Icy Girl Saliti, and this is what I call a touch up and go. I have about four hair types. I was born with super curly, beautiful ringlets, but like most of us, I damaged it in high school because I was trying to dye my hair every color. So my hair is wavy, straight, super curly, and then like ringlet curly, depending on what area of my head you're on. And one day I'm gonna cut all my hair off so I can start from scratch. I was on set yesterday and they put so much product into my hair, my wig. When I take my bonnet off, you'll see this disaster. But it's okay because we all have those days where we have to just make it work. And today is one of those days. You know when your hair is just like dirty, it upsets you? Like I'm really angry towards my hair right now because I don't have time to get it together. Well, okay, here goes nothing. I don't know if, it just looks like, you know, there's like sex hair, bad hair. This is just dirty hair. This is my leave out and then I have tracks underneath. Um, so we're gonna make this work because I have press today. Let's get started on this masterpiece. So I'm gonna comb my hair out. And as you can see, like my, like my, like the wig is, it's, it's still doing what it has to do, but my hair is hanging on for dear life. I'm gonna bring out a straightener and I'm actually gonna tuck my real hair and then straighten my wig so that I can, you know, just have a little cute bounce. This is so intense, so strong. Um, I've had this forever. I, that I can't even read, like it's just gone. Um, I had this since college. Shit was expensive. Um, I'm not gonna do it on the highest setting, maybe like, 35 so I can just at least straighten this out. I don't really use baby hair um, toothbrushes because they're just kind of hard to use. But I do like Colgate and Oral-B um, toothbrushes to lay my baby hairs. That's a fun fact. And when I was in college, I remember my baby hair toothbrush was out on my desk and my roommate, my brand new roommate, her name was Kathy, she's amazing. She picked it up and was like, is this your toothbrush? <laughs> and I'm like, no girl, that's for my baby hairs. But she really looked at me like I was so disgusting. She was like, girl, like I know you're not brushing your teeth with this toothbrush, but no, it's for my baby hairs. So my first step is using this foam to lay my hair down. I'm gonna get it and put it on my edges. And I'm just gonna scoop it back and tug it. When my hair is fully out, I probably wash my hair every day, if not every two days, only because um, I work out, I sweat, and then in order to lay my real hair, like I do put a lot of product in it, so I'm washing my hair every other day, if not every day. And when I'm washing it every day, I'm not necessarily washing the whole thing, I'm just conditioning it just to rinse out some of the product. So right now I'm gonna go in and just lightly lay my baby hairs. I don't like when my baby hairs are like, kind of like stuck to my forehead, so I'm just gonna pick it up a little bit and bring it up. And then we can just kind of like lay the side where it's down. Cause I like to do that. My next step is to get this brush and to just kind of comb my hair out cause I'm about to straighten it. So the flat iron is ready. And my next step is to kind of just run over it. Don't get me wrong. When I straighten my hair for real, for real, I part it, I piece it, I blow dry it, I section it, but because I'm literally just going over my dirty hair, I don't wanna put too much heat on it and I'm just making it look presentable for my Zoom interviews. So I'm just gonna go over this top, kinda of bring that down. And then don't you guys hate when like you straighten hair and it smells weird? I hate that smell, it makes me feel like I stink. So the heat is really low. My previous shoe, I have a little bump, so I'm just gonna keep that bump. 
don't want to go against the grain. My favorite childhood hairstyles growing up was probably a swoop. I love me a good swoop with like a ponytail and some baby hairs. And now I really just, I honestly just love when my hair is in a bun. I can scratch it, I can take it out, I can wash it. I don't feel restricted. And I'm claustrophobic. Like I could only wear wigs like two or three days because I feel like something is like squishing my head and it makes me feel claustrophobic. So I can't wear wigs for a long time. The next step is just kind of um, cleaning it up. I love the smell of whey. So just to like kind of make it lay, I mean, these hairs ain't really going nowhere. Kind of just. And then I might go over it again with the brush just to secure that product in there. Smells so good. Um, my mom actually loves whey. She's a big like, she's big on the diffuser. She's big on like really nice hair products that's, that's good for your hair, that smells good, that's lightweight. And whey is definitely lightweight. So my favorite hair look is from Super Bowl of this year when I did all that content. And it was like 46 inches of just like the hair was just so healthy and it was shaking. So I would say that's one of my favorite hairstyles. All right, y'all, this is Sweetie. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Um, please leave a comment below for dirty hair tricks because I know that you can't really do what you want to do when you have dirty hair, especially when it comes to straightening and preserving the healthiness of it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon.